With a huge crowd watching here at Hollywood Bowl, the first game uh, for the Portland Open Championship is underway. Three-time champion Bob Benoit is on the right lane now. He is uh, trying to cover the 10-10 in the third frame of the first game. There's a 5-10 difference between he and his opponent, Norm Duke. I'm Chris Shankel, and of course with me as usual, Bo Burton. Chris, just to update the game, Bob Benoit started the game with a solid 10, then struck in another solid 10. Norm Duke, who has also bowled two frames, struck in the first and second frame, got a five count in the third, converted the spare, and now Benoit trails by five. Bob Benoit, the number four seed. Norm Duke, third seed. After a total of 48 games for Duke, but it was 49 for Benoit, as he and Pete Weber, uh, Nelson had a, after tying, the 48th game had a one game roll off. You're right, Chris. Uh, five days, 47 games. They tied in the 48th game and caused them to bowl a 49th game. Weber lost to Benoit. So as Duke finished third and Benoit fourth, Weber was fifth. And Pete Weber is our sideline reporter today. From time to time, we'll go to him with uh, interviews. And of course, a little later on, um, after we determine the Portland Open champion, we will have the King of the Hill match. What a lineup. Norm Duke, Masters champion, Bob Benoit in the first match, Walter Ray Williams in the next match, and Brian Boss, our tournament leader. So we have a 3-6 for Norman Duke on the left lane. Just super players out here, Chris. They just mm -hmm. kind of watch them all bowl today. Classic styles are also on balance. The full grip by... Norm Duke, cross lane, he'll slide that ball into the 3-6. Spare, he has a five-pin lead. So the man who became the youngest player to win a PBA tournament in Cleveland at age 18, Norman Duke has the lead in the first game. We'll be back. You know, I'm always teaching bowlers how to put fingers into the shot, not just the ball. But you can also use your fingers to save money. If you're 50 or over, just call 1-800-4-CHOICE and you can save 30% at choice hotels like quality, comfort, clearing, and sleep. 30%. Now that's what I call aiming for the pocket. Travelers 50 and over save 30% at quality, comfort, clearing, and sleep hotels. Brave athletes challenge the notion that Kellogg's Frosted Flakes are just for kids. I play for the Mariners, but deep down, I'm a Tiger fan. Oh, go on. Frosted Flakes that the taste adults have grown to love. They're great. At the first tickly itch of athlete's foot, get the next. Killing those grungy fungi before they get racket and burn. Go get that can now, or else don't blame Desinex. You're looking at uh, Bob Benoit, 38-year-old professional from Topeka, Kansas. This is his second appearance of 1993. He was third in Fresno, losing 259-242 to Wayne Webb. Exactly what he needed to take the lead. Bob Benoit is in the championship round today because he outdueled Pete Weber last night in a single game roll-off. It was emotional and attention-filled 15 minutes, which their wives also had to endure. Well, naturally, um, Pete and I were looking forward to him making a show, so it was a let, real big letdown in the beginning. And uh, so I went off by myself for a while, and I uh, worked, and then after I got done with work, I went and found a window. <laughs> well, I was happy for Bob, but yet I was disappointed for Pete and Kim. And when Kim came to find me, I found out that we were still friends. <laughs> I guess they are, and there. they're seated, and... Um... Uh, we're all better off because of such nice young ladies as Kim and Lorenda, believe me. Benoit for the 3-6. He will lead the match by three pins if he converts. All right, the winner of this uh, very first game in the Portland Open will go against uh, number one in just about had every category in the PBA, Walter Ray Williams, Jr., Stockton, California. City of Roses, Portland. 
Festival, uh, I believe a couple of weeks ago. Um, this week it's professional bowling. This weekend, I should say, professional bowling, bowling and motor racing. And also a 13-mile um, road race. Through the Cascade Mountains. A lot of action in Portland, a wonderful town. And Duke would like to get a little more pin action here in the seventh frame. He trails by three, can take the lead if he strikes. for the year in the beautiful state of Oregon. They celebrate the 150th anniversary of the Oregon Trail, a great American adventure. Nearly a million people walked across open prairie and rugged mountains to get here a century and a half ago, the trail being 547 miles long. Oh, yes. The game is on. Well, Bob Benoit is wired on the right-hand lane. He's left two solid tens and struck the other time on the other two times. Now the key for him is the left-hand lane. Not only can he retake the lead in the match with a strike here, but he also has to finish on that lane if it comes down to the clutch tenth frame. Let's see what happens. Bob Benoit. Okay, leading now by three pins here in Portland, which has long been the city of roses here in the West, where you can find rose gardens almost everywhere. This July, AMF's most powerful bowling ball, the Ninja will be joined by two new ninjas, each with a fighting style of its own. For a performance choice that matches your individual style of play, watch for the ninjas from AMF. When you're thirsty, you need a squirt. Because there's nothing like our refreshing blend of citrus flavors. Give your thirst a squirt. I like a really big, round burger. And I like them really, really thick. You're going to have a baseball. The smells come up and the juices drip down. I can almost hear it. By the sound, just by the sound, then I know it's ready. Whoa. Wait. It's not done. Done. I done. Oh, it's the A1. It's how burgers are. Perfect. Done. He's no gentle Ben, Nigel Ben, one of the most exciting champions in the ring today, defends his title live next on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Here at the Hollywood Bowl in Portland, Oregon, nearing the end of the first match, Norm Duke is trailing by three, but can take the lead by seven. <laughs> In a great battle. Speaking of great, here's a triple crown champion, Pete Weber. Thanks, Chris. Uh, I'm here with Walter Ray Williams Jr. Walter, you're going for back-to-back -back titles. What do you think? What's your strategy today? Well, I had a good line in practice. I've been bowling great, and uh, I'm going to go out until lots of strikes. So the guys better be ready. There you have it. He's ready and willing. Okay, thank you, guys. is on his game too and uh, the color green showing on both professionals they're out both of them to try and get the twenty three thousand dollar first prize Bob Benoit can re take the lead with a strike here in the ninth and tenth but this is the key shot right here It's not over. Benoit can convert this spare and finish with 227, and that will force Norm Duke to at least mark. The ball drifts a little bit high on the right-hand lane. The two trips out to four. He doesn't get the break on the nine. Benoit, with an excellent spare shooting technique, will go across lane and kill the shot. His wrist will be flat and set himself up for the 10th break. And, of course, this year it's his second appearance for Bob Benoit. He finished fourth uh, in Fresno uh, May 29th losing to Wayne Webb, and he doesn't want that to happen again today. All right.
right, right now, Bob Benoit needs this strike to stay in the match. Bob looks at the scoreboard. Wife, Lorinda, looks at the scoreboard. As you see, the six love tap the ten. And this is a situation that happened last night. We talked about it coming down to an extra game, a 49th game. Benoit needed another strike in the tenth. And to open the door, Norm Duke opened. If that happens again today, we have a different winner. Bob Benoit, the last of the perfect 300 games on live television. And that was something uh, Nelson will always remember. The 1988 Quaker State Open the last, Grand Prairie. The last of five on ABC. Beyond the Low was the first. Gunther, Stefanich, McCordick, and this man, Bob Benoit, who still has a chance to win this game. Cool customer. A man that builds cars that are categorized as Ford Coupe Street Rods, and they're beautiful when Aoife gets finished with them. Right now, he can do nothing but hope. This man, Norm Deke, needs a mark. Oh. Chris Shankle, if that 10-pin stands, Bob Benoit is lock winner. Duke would not have made the 8-10 split. Watch the 6-pin just get enough of the 10. Now, here the 5 slides in front of the eight. The ball hits the one, three, deflects the right, the five slides in front of the eight, and what a great break. Now Duke just needs to convert this spare to go on to meet Walter Ray Williams, Jr. Which he does. Earlier, he converted the washout. One, two, four, six, ten. There's a disappointment. He's there. A lot of set setbacks, Bob. Well, he bowled well all week. He bowled well, all this summer, he's got his game back on track. Right now, Norm Duke, just a, a mere four pins. No problem for him. Stay behind the foul line. It'll be Norm Duke, the Masters champion, against Walter Ray. Okay. Tom Benoit had a 227, losing by seven pins to Norm Duke, 234. So it's $6,000 for Benoit. ABC Sports presentation of the Professional Bowler Show will return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Now, Kellogg's Raisin Bran has even more oh. of what you love best. Sweet, plump raisins. And two scoops with more raisins means great raisin taste. Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Now with even more oh. raisins. Look out, America. The Choicesaurus Sweepstakes is coming to comfort inns, hotels, and suites. You could win one of thousands of dinosaur prizes or one of seven weekly $50,000 giveaways. Just pick up an entry form at any participating hotel and you could also win the grand prize. One million dollars in cash. Call 1-800-4-CHOICE because offers like this happen once every 60 million years. On the surface, it's a perfect neighborhood. But beneath the surface, there could be trouble brewing in the septic system. Ask anyone who's had a backup. Regular maintenance, including Ridex, helps keep your septic system free-flowing and helps prevent backup. Use Ridex once a month. Saturday, the commish is caught between a woman held hostage and a cop with a secret. I stayed with her last night. Will a jealous lover spoil the case? We'll have a couple of pieces and talk about it. No! Get back! The commish. Saturday. We challenge you. We want you to do it. Because the best way to appreciate the all-new 32-valve, 280-horsepower Lincoln Mark 8 is to drive everything else first. People are driving everything else, but driving away in a Lincoln Mark 8. Mark 8 is now the most popular luxury coupe in America, outselling Acura Legend, Cadillac Eldorado, and the Lexus SC300 and 400 combined. The new Lincoln Mark 8. Drive everything else first. Can Texaco System 3 gasolines help reduce an engine's filthy deposits? You know, it's no illusion. System 3 helps make filthy deposits... What are y'all doing now? Oh, ...disappear. Where's my car? All it took was System 3, and now my Bronco takes off. 
like my Thunderbird. System 3 really with those filthy deposits. Well, I love it when she talks like that. When it comes to performance, in cars both new and old, you can count on every grade of Texaco System 3. Where's my car? The SPCC decision, live Sunday on WHTM. ABC Sports presentation of the Pro Bowlers Tour is brought to you by Calcium Rich Tums. Tums helps wipe out heartburn and gives you calcium. We're at a 48-lane bowling alley called Hollywood Bowl in Portland. First game of beauty. Bob Benoit losing by seven pins. Each professional had eight strikes. So now... Duke goes against the uh, hottest and number one bowler on the tour this year, Walter Ray Williams, Jr. Big field, Bo. You're right, Chris. They opened up the field this week, 180 players, 207 average. That's for the whole field, 217 to top 24, and just a lot of great champions in the top 24 as we go through the list here. Obviously, Pete Weber, who finished fifth. Kelly Kaufman had a 300 game last night. Eric Forco, the national champion a couple years back. The king, Ron Williams. Dave Arnold has a win under his belt this year. Purvis Granger traded crawfish for crabfish up here. Hugh Miller looking for that big ranch in Montana. Bob Vespi starting to crank it up again. Brian Goble, the most improved player on the tour. Jason Couch has a Tums win under his belt. Dave Ferraro, Ricky Ward replaced Jimmy Johnson, who had to leave with hand trouble, Chris. Okay. Two weeks from today, we'll be in Tucson, Arizona for the $130,000 Tucson Open. The pros do go to Riverside is an event that we do not cover. Tucson, two weeks from today, three weeks from today. Back again to the land of the Tiwas in El Paso, Texas for the El Paso Open. And now six foot two inch, 180 pound, 33 year old Walter Ray Williams Jr. who leads in money one average championship round appearances match play. Boy, he's hot. That's an example of why. Well, Norm Duke is, uh, will not take a back seat to Walter Ray Williams Jr. Duke, a great champion, great match play player, and he just won the American Bowling Congress Masters Championship. Good luck helps <laughs> in any sport or life. I agree, Chris. Luck is somewhat the residue of design, and these guys have spent a lot of time designing wonderful styles. Let's take a look at Norm Dukes with that shuffle six-step delivery. Everything in perfect position. Look at how on balance. Look at that left leg driving through the right. This left shoulder will pull back as he slides through the line and hits the line so solid. One thing you want to watch with all the great champions today is how on balance they are. And right away, putting pressure on Walter Ray Williams, Jr. With a double. Walter Ray, however, strike out the first now in the right lane, second frame. Ten. Walter has the lowest average on this championship round. Uh, pair of lanes among the four finalists this week. He only averaged 210 on the pair of this week, and one of the reasons was he couldn't carry the 10 pin. Gives it the long, hard look like you, son of a gun. And continuing to stay loose, uh, tournament leader Brian Boss, who will meet the winner of this game, and then also staying loose, our king of the hill, Randy Peterson. Time World Horseshoe Pitching Champion. I like to wonder what, or I do wonder what goes through his mind, Chris. He just has it all together, and he has all these players convinced out here he's number one, and statistics prove it. However, this man has something to say about it in this game. I hit, leaving the four, seven. Won the first match, if you just joined us, 234 to 227 over Bob Bonite. 
Here's a shot of Benoit uh, uh, Duke drifting a little bit high on the right-hand lane. Lane 34 in this 48-lane establishment. Hooks just a pinch more. Norm Duke explains why being strong during match play is important. Well, to be successful on the PBA Tour, you have to be a good match play bowler. It's just most of our format dictates that. Uh, with the likes of Brian Voss and Walter Ray Williams, who I think are the two best in the world, it's going to take a career day to beat them. Chris, do you think he's just saying that to be nice, or he believes he's number one, doesn't he? Uh, yes. There is a man uh, not large physically, 5'5", 5, 523, but a lot of fight and a lot of skill. Let's the ball drift high on the left-hand lane, leaves the 3 6 10, avoids the split across lane, try to nip the three pin on the right-hand side. The ball take out the six and ten mm. pins. All right, Norm Duke leading by five pins in our second match. We're in Oregon, and Portland has active waterways galore. Plus the Willamette River and the Columbia, it has a most modern skyline and immaculate streets. They work at it here. Any deodorant will do if you're at a standstill. But movers and shakers need the 24-hour power of Speed Stick Antiperspirant. It's 110% protection against wetness and odor. 110% protection from movers and shakers. Speed Stick. When you're thirsty, you need a diet squirt. Because there's nothing like our refreshing blend of citrus flavors. Give your thirst a diet squirt. Chili, fried coffee. You better add on some pumps. Well, on the house. Except these aren't pumps. Same thing. They got them all mixed up. I told you, they're all the same. Listen to me. Tums has calcium. Is this calcium? No. It uses aluminum and magnesium. So does this. This here, original rolling, uses an aluminum salt. The only one of these that helps wipe out heartburn and gives you calcium you need is Tums. Hmm. Something my body needs anyway. I like that. Insist on calcium-rich Tums. Auto Racing's top drivers tackle the high bank turns of Talladega. The International Race of Champions continues Sunday on ABC Sports. Yes, it takes talented management to conduct a PBA tournament. And Alan Stanford and Bob Wells are among the best here at Hollywood Bowl, an establishment owned by Mark Frank. Dead Eye can take the lead with a strike, fourth frame. Okay, here's our young man from St. Louis, Pete Weber. Thank you, Cooper. Thank you, Chris. Um, I'm here with Brian Voss. Brian, it's been a year and a half since you won. The le leader position's been a little tough for you. What's different today? Well, I'm on a mission. I've won a tournament every year since 1987. If I don't win this year, uh, maybe this week, I might not keep that streak going. So today's my day. Uh, he's ready. Get him, partner. All right. Two buddies. Uncharacteristic shot from Walter Ray Williams, Jr is to pull the ball on the things he's done so well this year is when he misses he misses a little wide or to the right and gives himself a chance for the light hit there he went right up high and left the four seven walter ray thus far this year has won a hundred and sixty five thousand nine hundred and seventy dollars to be number one Norm Duke, five feet, five inches tall, takes the full approach to get plenty of momentum in that swing. Struggling a little bit on the right-hand lane as we've seen everybody struggle on the right-hand lane. Benoit, it was his undoing. Right now, Norm Duke, who went high the previous frame on this lane, makes an adjustment on the approach, goes light, and leaves the two pin. Probably what he has to do is go back to where he was going high and throw the ball a little harder. 29th TV appearance for Norm. Third this year. He was third last week in Kennewick, Washington. And second at the Landmark Lanes in Peoria. True value open. 
takes a back seat to no one. His average in the last four years on the PBA Tour, 216 in 1990, number one, 218 in 1991, 216 in 92, is a 219 here in 93. Mm -hmm. A lot of Norm Duke fans here in the audience. Now the Californian. Walter Ray explains what is responsible for his rapid movement upward in ranking this year. Well, I think uh, lane conditions have a little bit to do with it. Uh, they uh, control a lot of what type of player bowls well. I think the new balls that come out um, really help me. And I think I'm bowling pretty well. I would say so. I think the latter is the most important, Chris. Mm -hmm. He can make it a 14-pin lead here with a strike. Well, you know, his, his hand-eye coordination has to be unusual, being five-time world champion horseshoe pitcher as well. We'll be back. If you want to save money on home repairs, listen up. Thompson's Wood Protector Preservative has more of everything wood needs to protect it from water, sun, and mildew damage. Consider yourself told, Thompson's Wood Protector Preservative. It's number one for wood. The trick is knowing what to sweat and what to let go. That's what this stuff is all about. It always gives me hair that looks great without a lot of fuss. Hurt plus, great hair. No fuss. Brave athletes challenge the notion that Kellogg's Frosted Flakes are just for kids. I play for the Mariners, but deep down, I'm a Tiger fan. Oh, go on. Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great. At the first tickly itch of athlete's foot, get an egg. Killing those grungy fungi before they get racket and burn. Go get that can now, or else... Don't blame Desinex. He's no gentle Ben. Nigel Ben, one of the most exciting champions in the ring today, defends his title live next on ABC's Wide World of Sports. <laughs> well, from sequin boxing trunks, we go to Randy Peterson, our king of the hill. Going for a third victory, a $10,000 bonus. He will meet the winner of the Portland Open. Now Norm Duke, who wants to say hi to his grandparents in Mount Pleasant, Texas. He needs a strike to cut Walter Ray Lee's that lead down to four pins. Mm. Disappointing there, Chris Schenkel. That was his finest shot on the right-hand lane. You can tell by the reaction in his eyes. He says, I cannot do any more than that. I made the adjustment, and then I made the shot, and I got tapped. You know, in two weeks, it is said that the lanes will be burning up in the desert heat. <laughs> so will we. The world's greatest bowlers head to Arizona for the Tucson Open, live at a special time. Two Eastern, one Central, three Pacific, Saturday, July 10th, on ABC's Pro Bowlers Tour. Go down to see Pete Tonis, a PBA champion, running that bowling center. Big strike in the eighth frame for Norm Duke, who won the first game over Bob Benoit, 234 to 227, eight strikes. Now, Walter Ray Williams has a double up, shooting in the eighth frame. The full grip by Walter Ray, just very relaxed grip. He uses that, what we call, tackified glove to help him get a little better grip on the outside of the ball, and this is a big shot. I don't think, Chris Schenkel, I have seen anybody bowl with as much confidence as Walter Ray is bowling in the last three months. Ever since he won the tournament in Erie, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. got the monkey off his back. He won last week at, on a uh, PBA tournament, wasn't telecast by ABC. He's going for two in a row as Paige Pennington, his fiance, looks on. Right now, he can deliver the knockout blow to Norm Duke if he strikes here in the night. telecast of the year. 
This lady's fiance, Walter Ray Williams Jr., has been on 10 of them. Unbelievable. Duke, to have any chance, must strike out. He's got a strike up in the eighth. He has a possible 234. If he misses either in the ninth or tenth frame, it's lights out. Still in it. Tonight, two hours of police action on ABC begins with FBI, the untold stories, and American Detective. Then, a cop is involved with a hostage, and Tony's caught in the middle of the commish. All tonight on ABC. Norm Duke, 10th frame, possible 234. Absolutely imperative that he strike on the next two balls or he has no chance. See you later. A great effort. Norm Duke's going to finish third. He liked the shot. He bowled a good game. He had to make an adjustment in the middle of the match in the third and fifth frames on the right-hand lane, but he did what he had to do. The solid 10 in the seventh frame was really the one that hurt him the most. He'll be in the two teams. Where do his grandparents live? His grandparents live in Mount Pleasant, Texas, and my daddy's from the Dallas area. He could tell me where that is, but it's a big state, or a big country as they call it down there, but I'm sure they're proud of it. Okay. 2.13, and his fans show their appreciation. He won that first match, 234-227, but this time he met Walter Ray. Walter, a possible 258. That's the score he bowled last week in Kennewick, Washington, or Oregon, to take the title. And he can start off once again his first match here, his semifinal with another 258. But he's got to go against Brian Voss in the next one, the championship. Here is a professional bowler that has had 15 second place finishes, nine championships. Well, Chris, at one time he went zero and nine in championship title matches, and he's uh, changed that around. He'll catch up to those seconds with wins. Uh, adding to his statistics with a big 258 to Duke's 213. This week, the Choice Hotels International Tip of the Week features Judy Sutar with an aid to regain power. Sports presents a winning never gets old bowling tip brought to you by Quality, Comfort, Clarion, and Sleep Hotels. Here's bowling great Dick Weber. With me today is Women's International Bowling Congress Hall of Famer and two-time bowler of the year, Judy Sutar. Judy, what is one of the problems that has developed as you've gotten older? Well, I found that I lost a lot of strength and stamina and was dropping the ball behind the foul line. So I take a towel like this, place it at the foul line, take my normal approach and concentrate on lifting the ball out over the foul line. So according to Judy, as you get older, in order to compensate for a loss of strength, simply develop a practice aid like the towel to strengthen your game and provide more continued enjoyment. Remember, winning never gets old. Look for future ABC Sports winning never gets old bowling tips brought to you by Quality, Comfort, Clarion, and Sleep Hotels. There are gut balls and gutter balls, and sometimes the trophy balls. But no matter what, you'll love the bowlers who have it all. On ABC Sports Home Video, Bowling the Perfect Game. Call 1-800-4-ABC-VCR to order bowling's colorful history. Narrated by Chris Schenkel and Nelson Burton, Jr. Charge it on your Visa card for only $14.98 plus $3.95 shipping. That's 1-800-4-ABC-VCR. You know, I'm always teaching bowlers how to put fingers into the shot, not just the ball. But you can also use your fingers to save money. 
If you're 50 or over, just call 1-800-4-CHOICE and you can save 30% at Choice Hotels like quality, comfort, clearing, and sleep. 30%. Now that's what I call aiming for the pocket. Travelers 50 and over save 30% at quality, comfort, clearing, and sleep hotels. If you're looking into faucets, Peerless means plenty. America's leading do-it-yourself faucet. In hundreds of styles and finishes. All made with solid brass valve construction. And all warranty for as long as you own your home. The best made, best backed do-it-yourself faucets in America. That's what Peerless means. Two head-to-head -head matches thus far. Two different winners. Norm Duke uh, besting Bob Benoit in the first game, 234-227. And then the number one bowler on the tour this year, Walter Ray Williams Jr., with 10 strikes, uh, a booming 258 to Duke's 213. Now it's the championship match. Brian Boss should be classic against Walter Ray. So it's been, all in all, a terrific week here. And it's always nice to be surrounded by roses. My goodness. Well, you're right, Chris, uh, the City of Roses, but we're going to have a classic match here. Walter mm -hmm. Ray probably has more at stake than even Boss. Walter Ray, this could be his 10th title. That's a very important to a PBA player. The 10th title locks him into the General Tires Tournament Champions, even if he isn't a touring pro. Also, his first back-to-back -back winner since Ballard in 1991. Plus, he's the leader in almost every category. He can almost lock up bowler of the year. However, I'm sure Boss, who's lost twice this year, who's probably one of the best bowlers, uh, it's probably uh, somewhat controversial. Who is the best bowler today has a lot to prove in this match, mm -hmm. too. I think so. And over the years, we've raved about David Houston, who's from Milwaukee, Oregon. And he has a six-year-old son that did pretty well here at Hollywood Bowl this week. Well, Corey, his son, won the, uh, the Pro-Am. Corey has a 65 average, and I'm sure David is really proud of him. But he's excited and ready to watch this big championship match. Don't forget, following us... On ABC's Wild World Work of Sports, there's a good look at Corey, the champion. The Quaker State Professional Boxing Series. And the World Challenge of Champions. And there's another champion in bowling. Fight today, champion Nigel Benn defends his WBC Super Middleweight title live. And in skating, how about Brian Boitano and Christy Yamaguchi? Peggy Fleming, Julie Moran, John Misha Petkovic on the commentary. Uh, double header and a good one. <laughs> bang, bang. Ron Boss. Absolutely one of the classic styles in all-time sport of bowling. A little four and a half shuttle step delivery. Look at everything in perfect position. Let's look at Boss. Here's the key. That, that left step, he drives through it, and he slides so solid to the line, pulls the left shoulder back, and extends right towards the target. Ideal result in the first frame. And the bucket on the left lane for Brian Boss, the 34-year-old PBA national champion, 12 titles. 11 years a member of the PBA. Boss, the bucket, the 2 4 5 8, needs to get the ball between the 2 and 5, avoid the chop, and the key is to carry out the back 8 pin. So well, it seems to me that a backbone of all of bowling is the junior bowling program. Junior program is really where all these guys came from. Chris, I started in the juniors at age 12 and moved on to the high school ranks at age 16, and I think that most all the players today come through high school, the junior program, and even through college. Oh, no. Dead eye with probably the best athletic ability, hand-eye coordination to throw a bowling ball. He takes the ball away outside, but he's in the same position as Boss. He just drives straight through the shot, and he leaves another 10 pin. And Chris, the key as we watch these profiles week to week, if you're home watching, it's not so much how you take the ball away or even the importance of the first step. It's where you get that ball at the top of the swing. With one and a half steps to go, that's the moment of truth. Here. 
Walter knows when to shout. <laughs> Motor racing weekend here, Bo. We have Trans Am Racing, Shelby Can and Indy Lights, and of course the Indianapolis car races. The next race on ABC will be July 11th in Cleveland. Boss somewhat confused. Now the right-hand lane has given some of the players trouble. Boss hit it with a lot of speed in the very first frame. Then he went light on the left-hand lane. You see him back here up on the right-hand lane, trying to use the same speed he used on the left-hand lane. He's confused. He goes high. Advantage, Walter Ray Williams. You're looking at Brian Boss, whose wardrobe holds a certain significance for him today. Well, being a 13 is an unlucky number, and this would be my 13th title, I've decided to offset the influencing demons by wearing all black. <laughs> Two negatives, a positive, huh, Chris? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Another tight match at Portland areas. Quite an area, and as we've often said, filled with natural wonders. We want to show you one. Why not? The trick is knowing what to sweat and what to let go. That's what this stuff is all about. It always gives me hair that looks great without a lot of fuss. Hurt plus. Great hair, no fuss. All pro quarterback Dan Marino. When the game is over and the pain starts, I want two things for my pain relieving rub fast relief and no odor. So I use Sports Cream, a strong pain relieving rub that doesn't make me smell like a medicine chest. I just massage in Sports Cream for fast odor free relief, cream or lotion. Sports cream sure gets my vote for fast relief and no odor. Brave athletes challenge the notion that Kellogg's Frosted Flakes are just for kids. I play for the Mariners, but deep down, I'm a Tiger fan. Oh, go on. Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great. Bond is back. I made you a one what? Sean Connery. The fine coffee is still dry. Never say never again. Sunday, friendly discretion is advised. This is a picture from the Hollywood Bowl in Portland, Oregon. Walter Ray Williams can take an 11 pin lead with a strike. All right, let's go to Pete Weber. Well, I'm here with Randy Peterson. Randy, you didn't bowl good this week. You made the first cut, but you didn't cash. You were out practicing last night. What were you practicing on? Okay, last night I worked with Ron Hoppy until about midnight trying to get my swing a little straighter so I, so I could uh, get a little better ball reaction in the condition. Uh, my ball reaction wasn't very good this week, so we are just trying to figure out some way for me to strike a little more. Okay. Walter Ray Williams Jr. has uh, gone high on the left-hand lane, the 310 split. He was voted the best spare shooter on the PBA Tour. He changes to a different ball for a little more control. He has to prove his spare shooting ability to maintain the lead. Come on, baby. Just us. Randy Peterson, our king of the hill, will meet the winner of this game, and he finished 86th this week. But here's the man that finished number one, Brian Voss, after that great shot by his opponent. What a conversion. Good technique, Chris. Mm -hmm. As you see, Brian Voss up on the approach. Wide World of Sports, the Quaker State Professional Boxing Series with the WBC Super Middleweight title bout, plus Brian Boitano and Christy Yamaguchi headline special encore performances from the World Challenge of Champions figure skating and whitewater rafting, all next on ABC. Boss, six frame, 11 pin lead, can, uh, ten, one pin can make it 11. Hello. 
Championship games, just that. Two terrific winners. Four seven. Walter Ray Williams Jr. going with almost a perfectly straight shot to the pocket for control is still struggling on both lanes. He doesn't have room to the right. He's trying to jam the ball in the pocket and Boss is, is in the driver's seat with a 13 pin lead. Winner of this game will get $23,000. Tomorrow on ABC Sports, Senior Golf's biggest stars take aim at one of their tour's premier events. It's the final round of the Ford Senior Players Championship. Walter Ray needed that one. Live coverage, incidentally, begins at 2 Eastern, 1 Central Pacific, then from Talladega Super Speedway. It's the third challenge in driving's ultimate test the International Race of Champions, all tomorrow on ABC. We're in our championship game, leading by 13 pins, Brian Voss. treated lumber and I still have $800 in water damage. How come? Even treated wood needs Thompson's Water Seal Waterproofer. Without Thompson's, you're wide open for water damage. Thompson's, don't wait until it's too late. This July, AMF's most powerful bowling ball, the Ninja, will be joined by two new Ninjas, each with a fighting style of its own. For a performance choice that matches your individual style of play, watch for the Ninjas from AMF. It's too big, it's too bold, and it's too bad you'll have to wait two weeks for the Tucson Open, July 10th on ABC Sports. Okay, Brian Voss, the tournament leader. Incidentally, Bob Vespi is the defending champion of Tucson. Two weeks from today. Here is a champion that's won at least one tournament every year since 1987. In my book, among the top five players in the world, two of them going for a championship, I went on a 20-city tour as you look at the replay of the four-pin with Walter Ray Williams Jr. one year. He averaged 227. I took Brian Voss on the same 20-city tour the following year. He averaged 228, Chris, and that's yeah. a lot of great bowling. Thus far this year, Brian has two seconds. Right now, the situation in this match is very simply this. Brian Voss has a possible 248. Walter Ray Williams, a possible 246. However, there's still a 12-pin differential in the favor of Voss, although he has a spare work. It's a little break there. Ball drifts high. Watch the third pin on the left-hand part of the screen, the two pin. That's the one that does the work. The two will go to the sideboard and trip out the four and almost takes out the nine, leaving a fairly easy spare for Boss. Okay. Leading by 11. Walter Ray is a strike up and he's shooting in the eighth frame. Now they are only separated by one on. pin. 
the wall shot. Headboard goes, to, head pin goes to the sideboard, takes out the 5-7. A great break for Walter Ray Williams Jr. This match is up for grabs, even the possibility of a tie. Two great representatives of the sport of bowling in every category, Brian Voss and Walter Ray Williams, Jr. No doubt. Right now, Brian Voss leads by two pins, ninth frame, anything can happen. Both have been players of the year. Incredible pair. Big shot there for Brian in the ninth frame. He set himself up for the lockout shot. He needs a strike in the tenth and nine spare to lock him out. 226. The best Walter Ray Williams Jr. can get is 225. If Voss doesn't strike on this shot, anybody can win the match. Solid nine, modern bowling with him. Mm -hmm. The equipment we have today, the reactive urethane bowling balls, just hitting these three pound, six, seven, and eight ounce pins so hard that they don't deflect. The ball is designed, or the game is designed to have the ball deflect off the one, three, the five, and then take out the nine. It did not do it. And Brian Voss is a victim at this point. You can imagine how his wife, Andrea, back in Boca Raton, Florida, feels after that tough break. He shot here. He needs nine to make Walter Ray Williams Jr. strike twice. If he gets eight, Walter can strike spare for a tie. Nine or better. Okay, crossing over and getting it. Brian Voss, Boca Raton. Look at this reaction. Yeah, that's exciting. Brian Boss can just sit and watch bowling's number one player need one more strike to defeat him in this match for the championship, the Oregon Open. If Walter strikes, he wins. If he doesn't, Boss has the victory. This is it. a mere three pins just fundamental no problem title number 10 there it is <laughs> 224 to 217 the previous game 234 to 227 in our first game of the afternoon 258 to 213 <laughs> very deserving that round of applause. Tough break for Brian Voss. The applause is for both players, Chris. Brian Voss, a terrific champion in his own right. And right now it'll be Walter Ray Williams Jr. going against Randy Peterson after this message. Mix nuts never give you enough of your favorite nuts. But new Fisher favorites are all favorites. Pecans, almonds, peanuts, lightly coated with luscious flavors. Toffee, honey glaze, praline, plus large whole cashews. So, that's my favorite. No, that's my favorite. Every nut is your favorite. New Fisher favorite. Fisher.
If you're looking into faucets, peerless means plenty. America's leading do-it-yourself faucets. In hundreds of styles and finishes. All made with solid brass valve construction. And all warranty for as long as you own your home. The best made, best back, do-it-yourself faucets in America. That's what peerless means. Monday on day one. Do they care about your kid or just your insurance policy? Hospitals for troubled teens. They admitted this boy even though he didn't belong there. How do we know? He works for us. Was this for us? Yes. Monday on day one. Sign a petition to keep the Navy base open. This is Rick Wagner. A community signs its support and welcomes Commissioner Byron. You continue to see it all on 27 News with complete coverage from Mechanicsburg to Washington. A vote on the fate of bases in our area could come as early as the weekend. With the fate of the SPCC drawing near, you can count on 27 News to bring you step-by-step -step coverage. This week, stay with 27 News at 6 and 11 o'clock. Can Texaco System 3 gasolines help make a difference in performance? System 3 performs in a car the way I perform in a car. With System 3, anybody can perform like Mario Andretti, but not in my county. <laughs> Every grade of Texaco System 3 performs in cars both new and old. They do? Well, no wonder we're getting the horsepower we should be getting. Isn't that right, Ashton? Count on System 3 for performance in your car. Dad, can you drive like Mario Andretti? Dennis Owens has the scores and more tonight on 27 News. I'm Dan Deardorff reporting from London, England. Coming up next on ABC's Wide World of Sports, the Quaker State Professional Boxing Series returns. Champion Nigel Benn meets Lou Gent for the WBC Super Middleweight title, and we'll have it live. Plus, special performances from the World Challenge of Champions. And whitewater rafting with Washington Redskins' Charles Mann. All coming up next on ABC's Wide World of Sports. PBA Oregon Open. Norman Duke defeated Bob Benoit 234 to 227 in our first match. Game two, Walter Ray Williams Jr. defeated Duke 258 to 213. Then in the championship match, classic, Williams defeating Brian Voss 224 to 217. And that means that Walter Ray Williams Jr. will take home 23, Brian Voss 12, Duke 7500, and Bob Benoit six thousand dollars all here at the pba oregon open and of course uh be walter ray williams jr going against our uh king of the hill uh colorful flamboyant uh randy peterson though well they're having a little uh, fun jostling down there randy has kind of psyched out of his opponents as he yells long live the king down there uh, he took out George Branham at Fresno, and he took out Steve Fields at uh, Seattle. But it's a little more at stake this week for uh, Randy them? Peterson. It's a $15,000 shot compared to only $5,000 for Deadeye. Yes, you know, um, before we take a look at some of our past Kings of the Hill, uh, this is the last in the series, King of the Hill. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. And some wonderful names and wonderful talents um, have won it and added money to their pockets. Ron Williams was strong, $40,000. Ricky Ward, the former rookie of the year. Del Ballard got a good pop at 10 grand. Warren Jr. won the tournament in St. Louis. Jason Couch, the Tum Classic, knocked in another 5,000. George Branham, the general tire Firestone defending champion. Randy Peterson up here right now going for that $15,000 extra bonus. And here's Randy last week as he took out his opponent, Steve Fields, it's mm -hmm. Seattle. He had a 279 games. He may need 11 strikes again to work over Walter Ray Williams, Jr. Tiny Steve Fields and getting up high to put that crown. Now this. 115 pounds. And now we're getting ready for the King of the Hill match between two native Californians right here in Portland, Oregon. Dead Eye will be some opponent to Randy Peterson. He won't put up for all the in. He's out for the big bucks. All right, speaking of big bucks, Walter Ray Williams, Jr., number one in nearly every category, 
with his $23,000 victory here is now $188,000 thus far earned this year on the lanes. for this man, do mention, 15,000. He's already won 10 as a king. Two wins. And he was struggling in practice, Chris. Speed control is so important to Randy style. Four. I mean speed control. If he gets a little bit firm with the shot, the ball drifts high. As you look at his style, he has that very high backswing. It's hard for him to soften up the shot. Goes all the way up, very contemporary type style game. Drives all the way straight through the shot. And guys with that high backswing like to throw pretty hard. Randy needs to stay soft in this match. All right. Strike and a spare. Now Randy will move over to the left lane. Randy got his start on the PBA Tour by selling shares, $750 a pop in himself, and he has proved to be quite an investment for those shareholders. As you see, the full grip, the tuck pinky swing, has that piece of tape around his index finger, and that's his key, pushes off of that on the target line. Randy and his wife Becky now live in Hollywood, Florida. Remember, Walter Ray is the Portland Open champion. Strike up, second frame. Oh, my. Just keeps it in play, frame after frame after frame. a testimony to his ability he has had at one time 114 consecutive ringers in horseshoe pitching and he bowled 61 consecutive 200 games over a three tournament span here on the tour seattle kennewick here in portland He drifts high. He says the lane is starting to hook on him. What he means is the area that he's bowling between the second and third arrows is starting to dry out. A little more surface friction. He'll have to make an adjustment. It's uh, the option of the professional whether he wears a wireless microphone and other way has always uh, consented. Some players don't, don't like it. Viewers like it. Peterson has been freewheeling the past two weeks as King of the Hill. Will there be a change in strategy today? Um, well, you know, I'm not sure until I, I get out there and we start bowling. It, it's really all going to depend on, on this situation and what's happening out on the lanes. If I'm, if I'm bowling well and throwing a lot of strikes, you'll see it. If I'm struggling to hit the pocket, you're not going to. So we'll just hope I'll be striking a lot. With a double up. Leading now by 22 pins. The most successful breeding program for Asian elephants in the United States takes place right here at the Portland Zoo. I bet you didn't know that. When you're thirsty, you need a squirt. There's nothing like our refreshing blend of citrus flavors. Give your thirst a squirrel. Red Devil Enamel. You can always count on its durable finish. Harder than ordinary paints, its beauty lasts and lasts. Red Devil Enamel for the finish of a lifetime. What? Look, 
Time is money, and I don't have time for plain flakes. Please, put something in here, will you, for Pete's sake? Maybe, maybe jelly. What? All right, I'll give it a shot. Tastes good. Good, good. Good and crunchy. It, it tastes good just the way it is. No frills, no nothing. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Taste them again for the first time. What? The Portland Open champion, Walter Ray Williams, is trailing by 22 pins here in the King of the Hill match. Spare up, shooting in frame four. Peterson was really working the crowd and Walter Ray Williams Jr. as we were away for that message and uh, it's important that Walter get a double here to stay in the match. Remember for Walter Ray Williams it would be $5,000 for a victory. For Randy Peterson 15. You see the angle that Peterson's oh. playing. He's going to be down in through this area, trying to finish right in there. Another four is second in the match. He's the four pin. And the conversion here, the differential will only be 11 pins. Chris, last year when we were here for the Oregon Open, we had the Rose Festival, and mm -hmm. uh, you've been to more than one Rose Festival other than Portland, Oregon, haven't you? Yeah, about a week ago, uh, Chuck Kenzel, who was a veteran bowling writer in Richmond, Indiana, where I had my second job in broadcasting. Richmond, Indiana is the largest rose growing area under glass in the world. So they have a Rose Festival there, and I was, whatever, king for a day, I guess. Sounds like fun. fun. Looks like there's 11 pins in the rack. Watch something shoot from the left-hand corner and take out the 10 pin. It looks like one of those pinball machines. The head pin goes over there, accelerates across the lane, scouts out the 10. Remember, Walter Ray had a double up. No breaks. <laughs> Walter just doesn't have the, the oomph he has in this $5,000 match as he did for that $23,000 just about 15 minutes ago. Third game of the afternoon for Walter Ray. The first for Randy. I have a head thing, please. What do you want? Peterson has a strike up shooting in the seventh. Does that open the door? The Does three, it? nine, ten. Converts, he stays in the lead. If he just gets two of the, the three pins, we would be dead tied. We are now level. Dead even. match is taking on a little more serious tone. That open frame kind of quieted Randy Peterson, 
and put a shot in the, of adrenaline into Walter Ray Williams. The 10 pin, a solid 10. Randy made a good shot. The cross lane is all of these pros we have out here today, even though their power players have good spare making technique. Cut down that hook, accuracy is just foremost in this position. So an interesting stack. In 17 matches, the king of the hill has averaged 235. We'll take 235 to win this game. Right now, Deadeye going at a 207 pace, Randy 207. down at the lane, but that was kind of an ugly shot. He took his swing outside and pulled it across his body. You have a tendency to do that when you're throwing a very straight ball, as you see Walter cutting his hook down for control on this lane condition, but he pulls it. See how Walter Ray is Challenging the championship here. He'll drift to the left, and he'll be right between the second and third arrows. So you see a trajectory something like this. That didn't hurt. Well, Walter's actually killed the ball too much. He can get protective. You have to roll that wrist in behind the shot. A straight shot is throwing with less side turn and not less power and Walter killed it too much. Now ninth frame for the king. Spare up. Shot. He liked it when he let go of the shot. Ball just drifted a pinch high. Four pin. Randy Peterson going at a 206 pace. Walter Ray Williams Jr. 203 pace with just one frame remaining. Two strikes and eight. Randy Peterson $15,000. Anything less, Walter Ray Williams Jr. can become the new king. It's a big order, isn't it, though? Right now, because right now, Randy Peterson has struggled a little bit. One of the great statistics that has let Randy Peterson stay among the top players, as you see his reaction here in the 10th frames, that he, in the clutch, in his PBA career, has never missed throwing a strike when he needed it for the title. So that means he'll strike on this ball if we'll, and shut out Walter Ray, or Walter Ray won't get the necessary double. He has never missed. in the Portland Open. Walter Ray Williams won it. Eight pins necessary to secure the King of the Hill crown. 15,000 bucks. Seven, a possibility of a tie, and Walter could still win. saw his face telling you that. No, I think Randy Peterson worked him over, Chris. Uh, you've always picked up Walter Ray when we started seeing him in the mid-80s as the, mm -hmm. the riverboat gambler type guy, and he got out psyched in this match. He really did. So it's 
$15,000 more dollars for Randy Peterson, but Walter Ray Williams picks up a check for $23,000 today here at the Hollywood Bowl in Portland, where we'll return after this. There's not a right or wrong answer with this, is there? You, you need some little gugans in here. You need some stuff, something. I mean, this is, this is, it's just flags, darling. I'm afraid that people might get bored to tears. All right, it's fun. <laughs> it is. It's got a, um, oomph. It does. It's got a, a, a crispiness. I like the simplicity of it. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. <laughs> Taste them again for the first time. What a flake. <laughs> was my joke. I really didn't want my husband to color his gray hair. But then I discovered this. The hair coloring called Just for Men. And now he looks better than ever. Simply apply Just for Men and in five minutes rinse. Just for Men blends away the gray for a totally natural look. No wonder eight out of ten women prefer the Just for Men look to the gray look. It's like you took off ten years. And in just five minutes. Just for Men. She'll love the way you look. Look out, America. The Choiceosaurus Sweepstakes is coming to quality inns, hotels, suites, and resorts. You could win one of thousands of dinosaur prizes or one of seven weekly $50,000 giveaways. Just pick up an entry form at any participating hotel and you could also win the grand prize. One million dollars in cash. Call 1-800-4-CHOICE because offers like this happen once every 60 million years. Here's the way the uh, winners, runner-ups, third and fourth win in the Portland Open Championship. Wonderful tournament, of course, Randy Peterson remains the king of the hill in $15,000. But in your 55th telecast, uh, you win your 10th championship. Probably solidified another player of the year. Uh, it's looking good. I'm I'm real happy. I got a I got a couple breaks bowling against Brian. He bowled a real good match. He threw a great shot in the tenth. I was real fortunate that uh, I was able to get the two strikes to beat him and uh, have a chance to go at Randy. And then I just lost the link condition. I don't know what happened. It just started getting funny on me. Was uh, his psyching uh, the king of the hill? No, not really. I, I was I was trying to you know play along with him and. Uh, he, he, he pulled really well. I, I just uh, lost the line. I started losing it against Brian, but I kept close enough to, to stay in the match and, you know, get a couple of good strikes there in the 10th. But uh, against Randy, it just started disappearing on me. I don't know what happened to it. Let's talk to the king and 15000 for you, young man. Oh, oh the crown. Thanks, Chris. I'll tell you, it's... Uh... Can't take anything away from Walter. You know, I, I, I got it in the 10th frame, and I, I didn't want to give Walter a chance to double intent to beat me because I've seen him do it the last two weeks in a row. And I was just fortunate that I struck out, and uh, feels great. <laughs> and the king will lower taxes in Portland. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that um, this is our final King of the Hill series for for now, and uh, we're, we're glad you, you were successful today. Thank you, Chris. You get the check later. <laughs> oh, here. Mark Frank, the proprietor here. 15000 and it's Becky Peterson. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is Mark Frank, one of the popular proprietors anywhere in the United States, and you have a presentation for our friend Walter. You don't? <laughs> Unbelievable. Two weeks in a row. All right. On behalf of Hollywood Bowl and the bowlers here in Oregon, I'd like to present Walter Ray Williams with a check for $23,000 in the Oregon Open title. All right. Thank you. I'd like to thank Mark and uh, the 2,800 amateurs that came out and bowled the pros this week. Uh, Mark did a great job of promoting this tournament, and uh, it was great bowling here all week. Horseshoe a little later? Uh, I don't have a horseshoe tournament until the end of July. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss the next uh, tournament, or the, the tournament in Wichita. Um, be pitching horseshoes, trying to get my uh, sixth world title there. So We'll see you in Tucson. All right. And we'll see all of you two weeks from today. The Tucson Open. For Bo Burton and everybody at ABC Sports, I'm Chris Schenkel. Goodbye. The executive producer of ABC Sports' presentation of the Professional Bowlers Tour is Jack O'Hara. Produced by Carol Letty. Directed by Doug Wilson. Technical director, Michael Carmen. Associate director, Russell Brooks. Technical operations manager, Mark Smith. Production manager, Joe Alvarado. Assistant to the producer, Rico LeBay.
ABC Sports presentation of the Pro Bowlers Tour has been brought to you by Kellogg's, the best to you each morning. And by Quality Comfort Clarion and Sleep Hotel. Coming up next on ABC's Wide World of Sports, the Quaker State Professional Boxing Series returns. Champion Nigel Benn defends his WBC World Super Middleweight title live. Plus, special encore performances from the World Challenge of Champions and whitewater rafting. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world.